Crystal Wick here with Art Beats Cafe, where we have all things caffeinated, and we have Cynthia, and we have Halloween. I am so excited. This is like one of my favorite holidays. As you can tell, we got dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> That's fun. It's really fun. It's really fun. So we'll be talking about Halloween things today, but I wanted to start with my new exciting thing, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Brand new book. Blood, Sweat, and Tears went into this book, but I tell you, it's Fabulous, if I may say so myself. It is Metal Clay 101 for Beaters, and this is all about how to do metal clay for beaters. So if you want to create your own findings or create one-of-a-kind custom, you know, earring findings or clasps or things to go with your jewelry, mm -hmm. especially seed beaters, mm -hmm. you can make your own, and it's one-of-a-kind. So I focused on projects for beaters. That's great. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because I thought that would be a really, really nice thing to be able to customize. And then especially when you sell your own products, you're the only one that has made these mm -hmm. pieces That's that true. goes with them. So there's toggles, there's all kinds of earrings, ear wires, bracelet components, that sort of thing. And all of it's made out of metal clay. Mm -hmm. And the metal clays that I focused on as well in the book, besides silver and sterling silver, is bronze and copper. You know, bronze yes. and copper is so popular right now yes. and very affordable. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be really good to learn on bronze and copper and then move towards your more expensive metals when you get a little bit better at your techniques. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So we're happy to be looking at some of these pretty pictures here. Oh, my goodness. When I look at these, they're like my little babies because I had so much fun creating them. And again, some of them are in silver, some copper, some bronze. I also talk a lot about using um, the gilder's paste and manipulating the, the metal clay mm -hmm. surfaces so that you can come up with all different kinds of colors. So very fun to yes. share and to uh, announce um, my brand new book, Metal Clay 101 for Beaters. Cynthia, now it is time for one of my favorite, favorite parts of the show, and that is Crystal Wicks Picks. So I pick some favorite things and share mm -hmm. it with all you guys out there and my pal Cynthia. And since we're dressed for the occasion, <laughs> I couldn't pass up yeah. Halloween, yes. Halloween beads, mm -hmm. all kinds of Halloween things. So I just think it's so much fun to make something special for every holiday, mm -hmm. every occasion. And some of the Halloween colors, of course, orange and black, but there's some other ones here that I'd like to point out. There's a little bit of a blue, there's a little bit of a silver, and so there's all kinds of different things that you can make that aren't just your traditional Halloween colors. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's always seed beads. That yes. even a simple peyote cuff made with orange and black seed beads would be adorable for Halloween. That would be a great idea. I didn't think about seed beads at all. Right, nobody does. Yeah. Because they kind of get overpassed. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't That's look true. at that. And um, so I thought that'd be fun. And then also made some cute little earrings here with a bit of the bling and pumpkins. And it's a little more on the subtle end of things yeah. for Halloween, but you would actually wear those. You know, if you work in the cube farm, or you'd wear them to work, or out to a party. I mean, right. they're so cute, aren't they? So cute. Yeah, and they're much lighter than you think they are. They're oh, very okay. lightweight, so mm -hmm. they won't hurt your earlobes. You don't need to worry about that. And then we have black cats over here, because of course black cats go along with Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we have all these lovely little pendants with bats and kitty cats, and oh my goodness, everything you could imagine. Owls, a few owls thrown in there too, because that's kind of a... Ooh, spooky Halloween thing. <laughs> and then one of my favorites, too, are the little sterling silver ghosts. Aren't oh, those fun. so cute, yes. the little charms down there? Oh, yeah. my goodness, they're adorable. And then I pulled in some of these um, Swarovski neon colors. So they're the neon pearls mm -hmm. because I thought the neon colors would really pop with some of the other crystals that are kind of in a more traditional color for Halloween. But, again, it's just really fun to play and use a variety of things to create some Halloween things for your party or your costume or your kids or yeah, etc. So there's Halloween. Okay, so now it's time for our beginner series where we talk about, Cynthia shows us how to make something from the very scratch, from the very beginning, because sometimes you don't know how to start something, right? Exactly, and it can be very overwhelming for beginners they don't know what to choose and, and where to start. Exactly. So they buy pretty beads and then they sit there and go, what do I do with them? So exactly. you're going to show them how to start. Exactly. This is so, great. <laughs> so let's start with a very simple bracelet. Bracelets. Yay. Yes. Okay. And so what you need, you need wire. 
And my favorite wire is the Zampa Pro Medium Clear because oh. it goes with anything. So you need first to cut a piece of uh, Zampa Pro and the size for a bracelet goes, the more common size will be seven and a half. Mm -hmm. But it can go from six and a half if you have a very small rest to eight inch. Sure. So you, you cut your wire. And now you would want to cut it about an inch or two inches longer than what your wrist is, yes. right? Because otherwise it's too short after you yes. finish and it off. Yes, exactly. And you have to also, um, because of the cream tube, you're going to need to have more wire mm. um, to use the cream tube. Mm -hmm. And I also really recommend to use a bead stopper. Mm, I love those. I They're everywhere in my studio. <laughs> exactly. I cannot bead without a bead stopper. Mm -hmm. That really saves you. And uh, so you, you have the wire, the bead stopper, and you start putting your beads on the thread. Mm -hmm. And on this bracelet, I use some Swarovski crystal and some um, sterling silver uh, daisy spacers and some uh, round um, beads. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. So then when you're done, you put your uh, cream tube and you use the crimp tool. And go check on our learning center, Handy Tip. We have videos and we have step-by-step -step how to use uh, the crimp tube. That's good because people have a lot of trouble with crimping. Exactly. So we have easy instructions they yes. can follow along and watch over and over again until they get it right. Yes. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. And then when you started to make a simple bracelet, you can go to another one, a step. Uh, another step and do a multi strand. Oh, multi strand yes. are so gorgeous. And Look the, at that. And Perfect for Halloween. Exactly. So much fun. For the multi strand, it's the same. You use the cream tube, and here I used um, a simple clasp, toggle clasp, and nice. I put a jump ring, and all the cream tubes goes onto this jump ring. But we do have also multi strand clasp. Mm -hmm. so those are lovely. Yes, and the, so your strand goes directly on those loop here. And we have some really beautiful um, clasps too. Yeah, one of the things about the multi-strand clasps, sometimes the clasp is as beautiful as the bracelet, exactly. so when it flips around on your wrist, mm -hmm. you don't mind? Yes. Oh, exactly. I love those. Yeah. And I want to show this. This is the easy uh, bracelet to measure um, if you have the right size on your bracelet. So when, you, when you're not done and you don't know if you need to add beads or not before oh. you put your clasp, just put the two wire onto the bead stopper and then place your bracelet, slide your bracelet on the cone. Nice. And you have the measurement here in the front that it will tell you exactly what is the size of your bracelet. That's really great if you're making bracelets to sell, especially because you want to make them all the same size yes. or make sure they're consistent and yes. you just slide it on there and you can tell. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. slick. So that's a very, like that. very um, great tool. Mm -hmm. And. Then the other easy bracelet to do is a charm bracelet. Oh yes. Everyone's and I favorite. use this. That's called a chain stay. The chain stay oh. is like my best friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because if you want your charms to be at the same um, size on your wrist, you need to know exactly where to put the charm. Right. And with a chain stay, you see right away where you can put um, the charm ring exactly on mm -hmm. the same side. It's right. really easy. And it saves do. so much time. I know for me, I'll pick up the bracelet, I'll put it on, and then I put it down, and now mm -hmm. I have to start all over to figure out where I put the next one on. Yes. But with this, you don't have to do that. It's already done for you. It's yes. staying nice and taut. Mm -hmm. Really yes. easy. That's so nice. Yes. And for a charm bracelet, you use jump ring. And I really recommend to open and close the jump ring always use two chain nose pliers yes. because you have a good grip and you can twist the jump ring and then put your charm and close it. Right. And you would never open the jump ring by pulling the jump ring apart. Yes. You twist it forward or back. Exactly. And we have instructions on how we do. to do that too, right? Yes, we do. Great. So there it is, very simple bracelet to make. Well, this is great, Cynthia. Oh, oh everybody can make bracelets now. Yes, that would be Yay. easy. Yes. Oh, thanks for showing this. You're welcome. It's really and great. I will ask. I would like to ask you, Crystal, about your ring. I think this is so much Isn't fun. Is that adorable? Yes. Yeah. So how did you do that? Well, tis the season, Halloween, and I thought it would be cute to take some very simple cheesy little plastic toys that you uh -huh. can get anywhere and bling it up a little. So I added some Swarovski crystals as his eyes with you epoxy did. clay. So I used uh -huh. two part epoxy clay uh -huh. to attach it to the ring. So it's attached to a ring blank. 
And then I also used the epoxy clay to attach two little Swarovski chatons as his eyes. And then let him dry for about 24 hours and okay. we're off to the party. That looks so great. Isn't that cute? It's such a great <laughs> idea. I love it. Very, very fun. Your kids would love yes, it too. Yes. Oh. Well, thanks for joining You're welcome. us, Cynthia, here. And thank you for joining us here on our Halloween version of Art Beats Cafe, where we have all things caffeinated, beady, and spidery. Ooh. <laughs>